let's have fun. Hello everyone, this is Jody Orange and today we're going to be talking about one of my favourite units in the game and my favourite when it comes to card. And that is the Cavaliers, I think it's meant to be pronounced Cootliers or some bullshit, but Cavaliers sounds way better. These are the first Lancer Cab you can unlock and what these guys do provide you for only 125 leadership is a very good charge. And that's about it, they're not the most versatile unit, they got one thing going for them, and usually after that charge they get butchered. But they do only cost 125 leadership and they can take out a bunch of units that cost a hell of a lot more than that. Which is why these guys are worth taking. They're also very easy to replenish, you only need green horses, and they seem to cost bugger all, and their weapons also cost bugger all. When it comes to the Veteran C tree, it's very easy to know what to go. You want to increase that charge to damage as much as possible. So basically, you want to go to the top tree, it gives you that arrowhead formation, which you do need. Plus, you get about 36% more charge damage, and you take less damage from ranged attacks when you are charging. It also reduces the cooldown on your charge a slight bit. It won't be useful in most games, but some games, if you get two or three charges off, it is handy. Meanwhile, you have the bottom tree, which sucks balls. It saves you a bit of bronze, but these units are cheap anyway. You don't need to save bronze on this stuff. It also increases your damage to infantry a slight bit, or else you could just increase all your charge damage and do more damage in general to everything. Now, the Cub do have a devastating charge. They also have a lot of counters, though. So sometimes you're going to have to be patient if you see fire archers or spear sergeants, or in this case, javelins, you may have to wait a bit until you charge into there. In this case, I thought those javelins were swords, because no one uses javelins. The same thing can happen with the spear sergeants, where you mistakenly think that they're those lower tier spears which you can butcher through. There's also pikes, halberdiers, they can all mess you up. One good thing though, all the counters, if they're facing the wrong direction, usually won't counter you when you charge right into them. And that happens a lot. You ride around the back of them, they're still facing the front, and their help these and pikes are facing the wrong direction. That is when it's your time to shine. Go in there and butcher a lot of them. But anyways, the summary is there is a lot of counters to your unit, but when they only cost 125 leadership, the loss isn't that big even if you do get countered. Once you start using high tier cavalry, if they get countered, you'll definitely notice that those purple horses are not cheap. And neither is their leadership cost. And that is why these guys are my favourite horses. I don't give a fuck if they die. <laughs> I have some high tier cav, I just never use this stuff because, to be honest, I don't want to pay the repair bills. Bugger that, 10k a horse. So pretty much I'm a cheap prick, I don't want to pay for these horses. And if you're also a cheap freak, I recommend the Cavaliers. It's the only cheap horses on the market. Well, there are a few others, but in my opinion, they're nowhere near as good. Another thing you do want to watch out for is just a lot of ranged units clumped together. It might seem like the perfect target for Cav. And they are usually a pretty good target for higher tier Cav because they're more armored. But for these lower tier ones, they probably die before they even reach those ranged units. With that said, let's jump into some gameplay. This is one of my favorite maps for Cav. When you're looking for good maps to bring Cav out on, you either want open fields or places with choke points that can be reached without getting shot down by ranged units. My favorite maps are this one, Canyon, Sun City, and Border Fort. The other maps have some good spots on them where you can use Cav. I just find those maps, in certain spots you can get Cav to do really well pretty much all the damn time. This is one of those games where they simply did not bring any Cav counters. They did bring lower tier pikes, but they're useless. So all I have to do is keep lining those charges up and then pulling my Cav back as quickly as possible after that charge. 
I also do want to get this supply point rather quickly because this lower tier cab doesn't live that damn long, usually. So I want a place where I can bring out other troops. And as you can see, the charge distance is massive. They aren't like infantry where they run halfway to the place you tell them to charge and then they run out of breath. These dudes go the full bloody distance. And you do get quite a few maps where people just don't bring cab counters out, and that's where you just wreck face. On siege maps, I find this once they've taken your wall. Because swordsmen are good at taking walls, but once they come down from that wall, and you can charge them with cav, they can't do shit about it. Now I do line up another charge here. I don't think I saw any counters. It's pretty suicidal though. They have a lot of heroes around. But when I play these guys, I just think, are they going to make their leadership cost with this charge? And they usually bloody do. If you wipe out one unit, I mean, these guys are one of the cheapest units in the game. So if you wipe out one unit, in most cases, they're paid for themselves. Especially if you hit some of that high tier range when they're not paying attention. Or some eastern shield walls. Palace guards are also another good one to hit up. They cost a lot more than you cav and they die very quickly to cav. Alright, I've only got four horses left, so yeah, I'm changing out my unit. And that's basically the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Please subscribe and thumbs up and all that shit. And I'll see you next time. Yeah.